All right, welcome to another massive vlog. I am in Columbus, Ohio. I'm getting ready to donate blood at the Red Cross. This is something I've been doing for 20 years now, and uh, just with my traveling and stuff like that, I haven't been able to uh, kind of keep up on my normal schedule of donating, but today I'm changing that. So uh, I will be back in just a minute. All right, I am officially drained. Um, that went very quick, less than one half hour for the whole process. And this is gonna be a different massive vlog because I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of traveling. So uh, we'll see how this uh, pans out, but yeah, uh, let's continue. Yep, that is right. I am back at Kings Island yet again in December. It's literally almost 60 degrees. So I'm gonna meet up with some friends, another really spontaneous trip, and we're gonna have some fun. I know I visit Kings Island a lot and it's featured heavily in my uh, vlogs, but considering they have a brand new ride here, I go here all the time and I go to Cedar Point all the time and stuff, but uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I also wanna mention that this will be a test. I got a brand new iPhone 8 Plus and I left all my camera gear at home. So we're gonna see how this does for video and stuff like that. So uh, let's check it out. So here is Austin from what? What's your YouTube channel? Coastal Action Sure Those. All right. So check him out. Here's Dan, who I haven't seen since Media Day. Yeah, coasting the country. It's you guys again. It's yeah. us Brennan again. and Morgan. We always hang out with them. So okay. Hi. See ya. <laughs> So I just met Austin. What's your YouTube page? It's uh, Cincy Bros Coasters. Cincy Bros Coasters. So yes. Check him out. So uh, heading the Mystic Timbers to, and I'm going to say this again, ride a coaster in December in the state of Ohio. So you did a front seat ride, Dan did, and everybody else. We just rode Mystic Timbers. Amazing. Second time I've ridden a coaster in the state of Ohio in December, and it's in the 50s. It's, was it was running first? well. What was the first? Last time I was here. Oh, I thought you were going to say the fun spot. Um, the one that went to oh, fun spot. No, no, it was it was here. So, mm. what do you guys want to do? I know you did. Well, it's video, so oh, well. there's the loop. Oh, okay, hole. that's right. It's Are you having now. fun though? You just took a couple. You took. Was that your first ride of the night? No, second. On Mystic Timbers. Yes. In December in Ohio. On the winter solstice. Yes, and it was running very well. Absolutely. Quick, how many coasters have you ridden? A lot. Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-three hundred. Uh, actually, it's probably twenty-three oh, fifty-five. Wow. Okay. Well, have fun. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. So apparently there are 12 Woodstocks hidden throughout the park and here is one of them. This one's not as hidden, but I think I've seen three and there's 12. So cool idea. They're not really telling people about it. We just heard from the park officially that there are 12. We are doing Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. We were told that it's Christmas, Christmas fight or whatever you call it. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> That'd be cool if it was. I'm gonna teach Zen. Are you serious? There's a Woodstock in there? I thought you said there was two. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're continuing. Look who joined us. Hey, what's going on, guys? Carter, and I bought one of his Vortex posters. How many do you have left at, at the time of this recording? Uh, eight. They're gonna go quick, aren't they? Yes, they are. And possibly by the time I post this, they may be gone. So if not, go to coasterkids.com shop, right? Yeah, slash shop. Slash shop, and you can find this poster. All I have left is the 18 by 24s. The 12 by 16s have completely sold out. Which is a good problem to have, I guess. Very good problem to have. If you uh, if you go to my Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com slash Christopher Warner Designs, and Instagram as well, which is also Christopher Warner D Designs, uh, stay tuned for updates of uh, secret projects coming out. Nice. 
What the hell is going on here? Good doggy. Uh, I'm Brian Lamb. Uh, you can check me out at Brian Lamb Media on uh, Instagram. Uh, you can go to my website, brianlamb.media. Uh, I'm also on Twitter too, so under Brian Lamb. YouTube as well? Yep, and Facebook. Well, do we have a great night? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's a great night. Always. Always a fun time here at Kings Island. So fantastic evening at Kings Island. So I'm now in Columbus, Ohio with Steve Osborne and Bethany. <laughs> they were in one of my other vlogs. But Steve invited me, as he sometimes does, to go to one of the VFWs. The VFW that he's a member of. Closed. And we just found out it was closed. So with myself not being a veteran, um, I know there's a lot of questions about how to get into VFW. And it's because of Steve. He signs me in every time <laughs> but yeah we don't know what we're gonna do I haven't seen them in quite some time so uh, yeah don't know what's gonna happen stay tuned stay tuned all right well it is now Christmas morning and for the first time in a very very long time we have snow on the ground at Christmas so I'm heading to uh, my mother's place and then we're gonna go to my brother's and then um, have a good day. Not much to talk about uh, at this moment, but we'll see what happens. All right, so uh, that little last thing at the VFW didn't happen because they were closed, so we went to a rusty bucket to eat instead. And then, uh, as this usually happens, I got a text from Eric Bohannon who said, hey, you wanna go get a drink or go get something to eat? Um, he now lives in California, and you work at a Navy uh, base, right? Yeah. A, a naval base? Yeah. You've been watching these massive vlogs for the last six months. You've seen them at the, what was it, the Field of Heroes? Field of Heroes, yeah. Field of Heroes, of course. But here's Eric. He's in town for just a little while longer. And then we'll probably see him in California. So you doing well, man? Yeah, living the dream. Living the dream. Awesome. All right, well, nice to see you, dude. And we're going to enjoy our food, are we not? All right, everybody. Say hi to the massive vlog. Yep, I am vlogging in a live stream I'm using my phone. And uh, hello, hi. So there's a good chance you'll be in this one once I edit it and it'll be available in hopefully a couple weeks. You finally done something important. <laughs> this is uh, everybody I'm chatting, continuing to chat with in the massive log. Well, I'm, this will be in the massive log. Um, this is who I'm chatting with tonight. So everybody's saying hello. All right, it is New Year's Eve, and I am in downtown Columbus, Ohio, getting ready to see one of my favorite bands ever, and that's the Devon Townsend Project. Now, if you've been watching these massive vlogs, you would have probably seen that I've seen them twice this year already. This will be the third time, and I think the seventh overall been a huge fan for many years and when Devin was recording his Z2 album a few years back he asked for fans to submit background vocals for this choir sound he was looking for so I submitted vocals and I think 1100 of us actually were um, on the album if you listen to the album and you hear the choir parts there's a good chance um, I'm one of those voices so yeah and then in 2016 I saw Devin at the Newport Music Hall here in Columbus and I made him a shirt and I got to hang out with the band. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some links in the description to show you a couple of videos. Um, you'll get to see his reaction of um, getting the shirt and as well as um, the vlog that he did for that day. Uh, he had somebody named Zim going around for the entire tour um, showing highlights for the day and I made the vlog, which was pretty cool. So yeah, there's two other bands playing. Um, the first band is Obsessed, which I think I've seen in the 90s. And then there's Devin, who's opening up for Clutch. But I'm mainly here for a Devin Townsend project. And uh, really, really looking forward to it. So uh, let's rock.
You guys ready for this? My name's Devin Townsend, let's do this! It's been a pleasure to be a part of this tour with these great people, holy crap. You ready for a little bit of Canadian love to lull you to sleep before we get the fuck out of Dodge? One more, guys! It's a song about love because ultimately we're all terrified and alone, so okay, let's have a new year. Ready? It's a song for my wife, Kingdom! the show Devin Towns had just en ended. Incredible set, it was awesome. And as I'm pushing my way through the crowd to go home, look who I run into. And John, <laughs> right? Yeah, John. That was your first time seeing Devin, what'd you think? Oh. We awesome. picked his brain up and off the is, ground and stuffed Ronnie it back Hunter, in. One of my Hi. great, great friends. And I I'm was, so glad, because you're the one that told me about this show. I was looking for you for the entire show, How Sean. the hell did that happen? I didn't look at my phone, and you go, I text you, and I'm like, oh, I've got to go We physically see. bumped into each other, and you said, sorry. <laughs> On my way, and I go, that's right. What did you think? What did you think of the show? You know what? 42 minutes is not enough for Devin Town. I'm sorry, but... We'll have a safe and happy new year. Have a happy new year, everybody. Happy new year, Sean. I love you. And there you have it the end to one intense year. Going to that concert was one of the best ways I've ever ended a year, and I'm really, really looking forward to 2018. There's some uh, good things that I think are gonna happen in 2018. I think this would be a great opportunity to kind of look back at the massive log since the beginning of 2017 and look at some highlights. So, enjoy this. Thank you.
disrespectful or not. Oh, be an ass about it. <laughs> There you have it, a quick look back at some of the things that made this year special for myself. I think 2018 is going to be a fantastic year on many, many different levels. And I can't thank you enough, the viewer of this channel, by supporting me, watching my videos, sending me messages, giving me a like, subscribing to me. So having said that, I look forward to meeting many of you. If you see me at one of the parks I visit or why I'm on the road with the Eyes of Freedom, come up and say hello. Maybe I'll throw you in, in the vlog. But it's always great to meet new people and I cannot wait to see what this year has in store. So with that, this is the end of this massive vlog. I look forward to putting more of these together. And please give me a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and I will talk to you later. 
rock on. 